My name is Sarah Vanover and I'm with the Division of Child Care in Frankfort, Kentucky. Um, I want to say happy fall to everyone. I know that this time of year uh, has so many seasonal traditions and so many things that we look forward to. The cooler temperatures and out yard fire, outside fire pits and um, pumpkin patches and all kinds of things that we do with our families and our schools. I do want to remind you though that in our child care programs, um, we need to still follow the emergency regulations and that may mean that there are some annual events that will have to be altered or postponed for this time period. Throughout the state of Kentucky, we're still seeing increases in the number of COVID-19 cases that are being diagnosed. And so we want to use the emergency regulation measures to reduce the spread of the virus as much as possible. A few reminders that I have for all of our child care programs. The list of visitors that may enter child care programs are listed in the emergency regulations and they are still only necessary visitors that may enter the program. This means that school photographers and other visitors that have a business that come in uh, to provide a service to the center that is non-essential, those still need to be postponed at this time period. Once the number of cases of COVID-19 is reduced and the spread is um, not as high as it is right now, then potentially we'll be able to um, increase the number of visitors that can come into a center and things like school photos will be able to be conducted at a later time. Right now, however, they will not be able to be held within the schools. Other things to keep in mind, I know that many schools have a fall festival or Halloween parties. Um, those are just not gonna be able to look the same way this year that they typically would. Now, if you want to have a fall party or a Halloween party, classrooms can do that isolated within their classroom group so that the classroom of children that stays together all day long could wear their costumes, could, could have special treats and do a party within the classroom but we will not be able to have school-wide events or family-wide events due to group size um, limits and in an effort to reduce the spread of illness throughout the program. I know that a lot of prog programs also do uh, costume parades this time of year, and that typically involves the entire school. At this point, there would not be able to be a costume parade for the whole school. Now, if an individual class would want to do a costume parade, then that class could dress up. They could potentially walk around the outside of the school. Children could, could view them uh, through the windows and they could see other members of the school. But right now we're gonna have to think creatively in order to reduce the spread of the illness. I talked to a center today in Western Kentucky that for a family event, they were doing a Zoom family bingo for all the, all the families that were enrolled in their program. Those types of family events where we think creatively and find ways to bring our families together without having everyone in one place where they could spread the illness, those are the types of events that we need to think about right now during this fall and winter season. If you have additional questions, please feel free to reach out to the Division of Child, Division of Child Care or you can reach out to your regional Division of Regulated Child Care Office. Have a great day.